everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Alive! It has been, like, so long since we've done a video on this. Um, mainly because, well, not, not much has really changed in the game, if I've got to be honest. Um, and, I, yeah, I've just been busy with, as you've probably seen on the channel, other games like Jurassic World Evolution 2's DLC came out. And then, like, I had to quickly cover Choo Choo Trails. And then once I covered that, I was like, ooh to do a theory about this <laughs> so now finally um i can get back to you know dress world live or dress world the game or something like that uh, and good news we are well we're entering the winter season as you can see here it's all lovely and snowy um and they have added something new to the game so at the top of the, this bar you'll see campaign pvp battles and isla event and it's that event that is completely different because somebody messaged me they said are you enjoying the event and i went what event what event? <laughs> so if we click on this, um, apparently this is like the gyrosphere for Jurassic World game where you would pick from a roster of dinosaurs and then go forth. Uh, but what I love about this is that they've made this all in 3D and it looks really cool. So I haven't touched it. I haven't seen anything about this. And this is what today's video is going to be about. Maybe we'll do some PvP as well because that has changed a fair bit i think with some dinosaurs now the game or the update has been out long enough where people are now like using different dinosaurs uh, to what you know my last video would be but well, let, let's see what this is so we've got to end a mission objective defeat three creatures opponent's team is that okay enter interesting that we've got health why do we have evolve in there this is very odd okay so, does it mean that if I... Do I carry on health? Oh, that's right. That's what the gyrosphere was, wasn't it? It was you had health and you had to get so far. And then, or, you know, to the end, you would try to. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, visit collection to evolve this creature. I want to add to team. Why would I want to evolve it? I think I need that for some sort of hybrid, so I don't want to evolve it. Or if evolving something... Oh, hey, new blood shows! Hey! <laughs> I don't think I'm in this. I, I don't think so. So I'm assuming this battle is in new blood shows. Yeah, there we go. Okay, don't know what happened there. I, th I could hear some, like, crackling in the audio, so I'm hoping that... Maybe that was just my headphones, but just in case it wasn't, it might not have been. I'll, I'll do that. So, I mean, I'm assuming if we're going to carry on health through battles, we would want dinosaurs that are able to recover. Ah, probably should have put in that other one. The one with the, the, the like, the beaver teeth. That, like, uh, irritator-looking one. Damn. Probably should... Wait, did I... Oh, yeah, I regenerate health. Ah, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah. So, maybe, probably, should have started with a different uh, roster of dinosaurs, knowing that I need to get the health back. However, maybe tested a Corbinus that I actually have at level 30, and I think it still has boosts on it. Yeah, I'm taking any more. Hey, it's like I knew. Oh, I'm built for this. If only I had the Thylo, whatever. That is the Thylo something. Uh, oh, this this guy be interesting. I should be able to kill him pretty pretty easily. 2,700. Yeah, he's dead. Yes. Another one dead. And then I should have my rampage ready now. Uh, oh, it is a Megalania. Who could go for digging? Don't go for digging. Oh, thank you. Right, that's three times damage. Oh my goodness. There you have it. So we didn't lose any health. Oh, no, we did. We lost like 100 odd. And we, oh, we get 25 per. So I don't know what this is. Panthera blithea. Bl 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 is this what like panthera is based on? I think we're good. I mean, maybe we'll start hitting like level 30 crazies, you know, like actual, you know, dinosaurs that we would face in the PVPs and Nublar Shores. But at the moment, this is fairly okay. Uh, I've got something that goes through. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The counter, his, I think this slot's counter doesn't go through armor. And that's fine, because I've got like 45% armor. Uh, I could go for this one. Okay, he didn't go for it. If I get a crit, he's probably dead. <gasps> no crit, because I think it's like 5%, and so it is. Yeah, so that I'm not too fussed about. And the good thing is, I can just go for digging if I want to. And I can just get even more health. Even more, more health. Uh, but I think we can easily do that. Oh, the swap! Oh, brilliant! That's great. You can just give me more health, and I get to cleanse myself. I think. Oh yes, this is good. I like this. Ooh, the Saurus of Yes, kill it. Or at least kill one. 
and then kill another one. Yeah, we'll save our rampage for the dire wolf because I've never faced up against the dire wolf. And it doesn't matter what this guy does, even if it's a high pounce like that, because I think that reduces my attack. Because uh, I'll be able to... I mean, superior vulnerability. Well, I cleanse myself of any damage reduction. I go through cloak. Um, I slow down the opponent. Like, so that whole thing, superior vulnerability, was only put in the game to counter stuff like that. Hey, look! I get to see you! I haven't seen you in so long. I haven't seen you ever. I've never faced up against this thing. Barely even leveled mine up. Apparently, the new hybrid, that, like, weird werewolf Halloween thing, uh, loads of people are using that. Or at least I hear, I hear in, like, groups and stuff uh, that it's like, oh, God, if you face up against that thing, everyone's got it. Ah, it's so annoying. So, haven't seen it yet. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe I've been lucky. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But everything has a counter, but apparently that's, like, a pain in the ass. A bit like Dio is. Dio is a lovely thing to come up against. Whenever I see somebody using a Dio, I'm like, thank you. This makes my day. <laughs> okay, so I should have went for dig in there. Actually, no, we've got full health now. Sweet. So we've made it to battle two and we haven't lost a single dinosaur. Brilliant. Although we didn't get anything for that. Cool. Okay. So, right. Level 25s now. Um... I feel like that that bird will have high pounds. Yeah, it's it's got like deliberate. It's got the prowl for dodge. It's got the high pounds to reduce attack. Honestly, this this feels like Testa Corbin. Until I see something like a T Rex, Testa Corbinus has got this in the bag. I think. I think we can we can get all the way to the end. But this is fun. This is something different. If only you got incubators as well, <laughs> then you would never. Nobody would do the PVP. It'd be brilliant. Uh, but hey, it, it is what it is. Hopefully we get something cool for, like, Christmas. I, I know that, like, a couple of other games that I play are adding, you know, nice little things into the game, like, for free uh, for Christmas. So I'm hoping that maybe we get something, you know, something similar in Jurassic World Alive. You know, after having the rest of the year basically be how many microtransactions can you do to win? <laughs> Hoping. I've got my fingers crossed that we can get something like that. Um, we'll do that. Uh, oh, they're swapping out. Okay, I mean, this is brilliant. I mean, it, it takes a little bit longer, I suppose, but I'm happy. I'm happy. It gives me health, and there... Ooh, hello, Mr. Panda. Never faced up against you. You've got a lot of health things going on. I'm assuming you've got, like, a passive healy. So, was this no apexes? I wonder what the, um, the entry was, actually. What you needed. Have you got a heal? You got a counter power heal. Hmm. Okay, you don't heal much, and you're dead because you're also vulnerable. And this is gonna do like 2,700 normally. Oh, you had armor. Hmm. Okay. Now, what do we do here? Do we do we expect the high power? And there's no priority, right? So we may as well just go for like instant death, which does 5,500. Wow, it was almost halved last time we did that. We did 2,700, I think. Yep, and unfortunately we can't kill him in one hit, I don't think. It's got a lot of armor. Yeah, I didn't think so. Even though we're at 1,800? Yeah. <gasps> the shield! Okay, okay, that's fine. We're going to lose a little bit of health, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't think it has any priority. And wow, how much health have we lost? 600 and <laughs> We've lost like 17 health so far? Okay, okay. This seems to be how you do it. Happy with that. I like how if this is set in Nublar Shores, it's giving everybody an opportunity to, um, you know, try Nublar Shores. Okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, I, ooh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I don't see a reason why I would, yeah, I'm not, there's no point in me putting in anything more than Testa Corbinus, really, because I'm not seeing anything that can really do a lot of killer damage to it. Yeah, I can't hit all of the flock creatures, but, you know, I go through dodge and I reduce my damage, so, or any damage that's been reduced to me. So, I think I'm good. <laughs> this is the only one, yeah. That's the only thing that I'm a bit worried about is the bleed. What I can do, uh, I mean, I do heal myself here, right? Um, and I will take a big chunk. Oh my god! 
Um, and I do bleed next turn. The only problem is that he's also got rendering. So even though I'm going to take a big... Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I was going to say because I cleanse myself. So hey, that's... Oh, no. Ah, this one has an armor. It goes through armor. And it's also got a stun. Ooh. Ah, well... You know what? It doesn't even matter. Because I think two hits of this and you're dead. You're going to get one good counter off. Which isn't so bad for you. Uh, 900. Okay, so this is the one. This battle feels like, okay, you're using Tester Corbinus? Are you now? Hmm. But however, yeah, it's definitely dead. Does it cleanse itself with camouflage? We're just going to dodge. Speed and dodge. Okay. I've reduced my attack. Why? You're in camouflage. Why is that intimidating? <laughs> anyway, you're dead. So, I still got to worry about that thing. Um, but I think I'm faster. Morus Intrepidus. Right. I probably could have went for shield here. But yeah, I'm just going to focus on killing them. I'm okay. We'll see. Oh, that's what I want to be worried about. Ooh. Okay, can't heal. So, that's fine. It does have a challenging alert, which does 1,300. And if... Do I want to shield now? Yeah, let's shield. Let's shield, shall we? Yeah, let's let's go for a shield. He's probably going to do something that goes through it, um, but I'm wanting that 1,800 down. Yeah, okay, so we're nullifying what he's just done to us, I think. Uh, in fact, actually, we've got 500 extra plus 600 extra. So, yeah, it, it, it did basically, like, a tiny bit of damage. Um, it will now have its devour... Oh, no, it won't. Oh, it can only do pinning strike. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And actually, it's given us health by doing that. Done like 500 damage, and we get 600 up. Yeah, this is good. And then, okay. Oh, right, right. You know, if the AI wasn't switching every two seconds, I might be in some trouble, especially with that maiming wound. There was like nothing I could do against that. Um, I would have just taken like 0.6% of my health, like just straight off. Um, and I would have been in a pretty dire situation. However, um, it swapped twice. So I've cleansed myself and healed myself twice for free. And there we go. We're now on <laughs> I kind of want to use something else now. This feels like cheating. Although that would, like, on paper, that should have killed me, probably. Um, but they swapped, so... We get a 40, yes! Are we actually going to get enough to level it up? Uh, yes, we will. Uh, should we use the Thalaconix? We'll use that. Go on. We'll not use Testicorbinus first. We'll use Thalaconix. Because I feel like some people might have this level 30 because it has been good to use in some other uh, circumstances. And it can heal itself. So I think what we want to do here is go for the the Crushing Prowl because this does have a counter which slows us down. Uh, can we take speed reduction? No. Okay, cool. So we'll do this. And then... We'll just go for the massive hit, because that mm, should be able to kill him. Oh, 2000, 3,007. Oh, 3,570. So we could kill him uh, instantly. Or we could bleed and then also... Yeah, we'll just kill him instantly. Why am I even bothering? Oh, the crit! Oh, I forgot. Did it increase my crit chance? It might have. Oh, I probably should have done that then. Okay. Uh, oh, this thing could be a bit deadly, though. Oh, if you have dinosaurs that can swap in and heal, though... That could be good. So there's the counter. Does it have a counter? I know it has like the triple hit, which is something to watch out for. Yeah, so we're not going to get much health back from that. Mm. Damage over time. Oh, it's okay. Health, please. Health, please. Come on, then. Yay. Okay, that's terrible. Right, so now we can do distracting triple strike. Oh, it's a delay of what? Yeah, so that's going to do attack 1,700 of three times. So what I was thinking would be interesting, right, is if, like, a good way to counter that. Like, it takes out flock creatures, right? That's that's the main purpose for this attack. Although it didn't do it. Sweet. Uh, okay. But what if the drawback was that a creature got to do its counter three times after every hit? So, you know, if, if it would be a good way to maybe, like, mind game somebody like you put this out against a flock creature and then they might think you're gonna go for the triple strike but then you don't do the triple strike 
you know, I, I thought that would be quite interesting. And it would it would mean that something like um, Tyranno Ankylosaurus, you know, the hybrid, the unique hybrid that nobody uses anymore, that thing. It would mean that that would actually be pretty decent, maybe. Because then it would do its counter three times. I don't know. Apparently not. Or something like Referentum. Like, Reduce Attack, Reduce Attack, Reduce Attack. <laughs> okay, and it's dead. Unless it's got its own... Oh, of course it has its own thing. Of course it is. Of course it has its big one. Well, we'll just kill it next time. So here's me thinking, oh, we'll use that other thing. Yeah, it'll just be easy. And then I've just switched back to Testicle for this. I mean, it would have died. I mean, it, in theory, it should have died. Because he, he would have went for the triple strike. But he didn't. So maybe I've just got to be... Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it, 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 we've killed this deer. And then next turn... They are getting harder. But because Testicorbinus, or mine anyway, is so, like, crazy good. Because it's max level. And... You know what? I'm happy with you doing whatever. Because... I think I'm even going to heal, like, 10 health from that. 623 damage against 663. Oh, okay. He healed 40 health from that. Thank you. And then you're dead. Brilliant. Yeah, because I got boost on it and because it's max level. Kind of good. But what's interesting about this is that, you know, you're using different dinosaurs that you wouldn't normally use. As long as it's not... Ooh. It's, as long as it's not the stuff that I normally, like, have. Uh, like what the PvP is. So, we've got the bear. I don't know what the bear does. Does it have a counter? We want some... Yeah, maybe... Maybe we will. Maybe we will use the Thylo here. Uh, against that turtle. It could be good. Depending if the turtle comes in first. Um... Is it a cooldown of one for its devouring rampage? No, no, sorry, delay. That's fine. We can probably get this off straight away. Octalicelles, okay. I mean, we're gonna do a lot of damage right off the bat. I may as well. Like, ah, blah, blah. Yep, there we go. Now it doesn't get a counter, but it does get a do- Oh, this is great! I can actually swap out now. Although, I think, no, it's accelerate on escape. I think it's swap in, uh, swap in thingy, isn't it? Yeah, accelerate, swap in, heal. So, actually, we can... Does it have a priority? Oh, it has dig in. Okay, yeah. Uh, we may have... <laughs> That's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, it's dead. I think it's dead. Actually, we didn't go for our thing, so it might not be dead. And now it's faster. Oh, but look, we've got loads of health. Um, now, it does have shielding. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap into my... Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's actually not good for me, because that's going to do a lot of damage swapping in already. Okay. Ooh, another forward. Ooh, this could be good. This is giving me a challenge now, this one. All right, all right. Oh, it's immune as well. Okay, well, I don't think it can increase its speed. I don't think so. Yeah, there's the counter. Ugh. Okay, right, we're gonna have to use... Oh, there it is. Oh. Now, does that have a counter for swapping out? Defense Shattering and Swap in Savage. No, okay, so I'm good. And this is gonna do a lot of damage. Right, so what we're gonna have to do is we could just use the turtle as a way to um, gain XP. Now, he's got his massive attack, which is gonna do 2,500. Um, so I'm I'm kind of happy going for Dig and Taunt because I know he can't do any damage to me. Or, like, he can't kill me. He's got- he could do a lot of damage. Uh, crushing Prowl. It- does it give speed? Right, that's all I wanted to know. Sweet, okay. He could have done 2,500 damage to me. There we go. There we go. So that's one dead. Yay! Carpenterceratops! Do you even do anything? What- what do you do? Oh, you- you do nothing. Okay. So you're basically just gonna give me health. I mean, yeah, you have your, like, rampage- but as long as I can maybe time a good shield for that, we're good. Because how much, how much do you do? <laughs> it's basically, it's just every turn is just going to give me help. Thank you. All right. So what do you have next? Uh, exposing the weak spot to you. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. This was good. If, if this guy wasn't here, I might be in some trouble. Do we not have a winter one? 
like a, a winter stage. We should have a special winter stage for these creatures because it's all like Cenozoic creatures. Right, there we go. Increase speed, get a shield, and now he could do his big rampage, but he doesn't. Okay. We get even more health. Looking good. Almost back to full. And now we can go for a big hit. Do a lot of damage. Uh, we are... Mm, mm, oh, there's his. Okay, this will do a lot of damage, though. Yeah, 1,600. So basically 1,000 damage, because we got to heal 600 anyway. Uh, okay, and then he could do his... He could have done his digging, I think. He could have done his digging. I think he could have. Okay, well, he's dead anyway. Now, Arxelatus and And it's pretty much dead. Yes. So, all that happened this time, I think we lost a little bit of health from the deer. But we, brain, we gained, like, yeah, look at that. We gained 600. They should have, like, a plus or a minus, And then, like, that would be more satisfying. And just sort of, like, slowly move. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, so six. Oh, another 40. Oh, oh, Monolo Rhino. Wait, do I even get to use Monolo Rhino? No, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not a... What? And why is Panthera a thing? Oh, so that's what I need the bear for. Okay. It would be good just to unlock it, at least to have it. That's that's the way I always see it. Uh, at least I've unlocked it. And 40. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he is almost halfway. Just under halfway. Right, four more pops. Come on. Come on, can we get the bear? It would just be a good backup thing to have. And you know what? It's The game's making me get it. Because I wouldn't normally. Because right now in the meta, the bear isn't very good. I, there's too many counters that like... You you need either flocks or you need something that can just do a bunch of damage. Um, and the bear... I mean, yes, it's, a, it's kind of like a tanky sort of creature. But it really doesn't do much. I like how we don't get 10s on these. And the game knows. It's like, oh, I can't really give me all 10s because I'll be annoyed. <laughs> uh, we'll do five pops of this. I got a lot of the deer. I don't have too much of the Octo um, thing. Okay, so that's another two pops. What do we think? Do you think we can do in two? I think there's a chance, a very slim chance, that we can get 30 each time. But it could be doable. Let's see. Uh, oh, of course. Of course, I called it, didn't I? I said, oh, you don't, you don't get 10. No, get that. There's the 10. Okay. So basically, you can do one more pop. Uh, oh, there's the 30. That would have been good. Okay, we're definitely going to get it next time, I'm pretty sure. So we'll we'll fuse. Oh, fine. God. Is it a Zeratops? Need is it a Zeratops? There's your 70. Why couldn't I got that on the thing? Why? Because it's rigged. That's why. Oh. Right. Okay. Test of Corbinus onto the Arcto. Nope. We need Test of Corbinus. Fuse it five times. Yep. 250. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Two pops there. And then I think worst case, we only need two. Max, we need two. I feel like, come on, the game's not going to give us 10 for the last one. There we go. Okay, finally. After like how many months has this creature been out? We can finally create the October Salas or whatever it's called. Yes. So that's 4,800 health. Great. Okie dokie. And just having another Apex unlocked is good. Because then we can use it for like a skill tournament if there arises one. So we'll put him in. Because chances are they will swap out. Oh, there it is. The new creature, Panther. Ah! Right. So what do you do? Ah, I've got nothing to worry about. Sweet. And evasive hunt. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I like the fur. They've done fur really well in this game. I, I have to admit, they've done it. They've done good fur. Invasive hunt. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and it nullifies me as well. And it hits. And it actually does enough damage. Okay. So, you know what? I'm just going to go through digging. Um, go for digging. And it doesn't matter really what he does, because it's basically halved. And with all of that, it just does a regular hit. Doesn't even go for its cunning rampage or anything. All right. So now we've got more health than we've ever had before. We're going to do a lot of damage. Uh, not kill it, though. There we go. It does have a count of which nullifies my speed, which is all right. Now is it going to go for the rampage? Oh, there it is. Cunning rampage, which means it reduces my attack. Okay, but that's... An oh, and a crit as well. Ooh. Ooh. Thank God I get the counter. All right. And then, just going to do a regular... Oh, there it is. Big brain play. Big brain play. Love it. Love to see it. 
And, oh, okay. Uh, Model Rider does have one attack I'm a bit worried about. The indefinite impact. That's a bit early. He's probably going to stun me as well. Yeah, I'm not too good against that. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sure. We'll just go for a, a, a ginormous hit. Do as much damage as we can. It'll probably go for shield. No, it doesn't. Okay. And it can't swap out, so it's definitely dead. That's the most amount of damage it's going to do. And it did do some damage. Um, and then we'll just go for... We'll just go for the regular. Oh, it's a group. Oh, and it's priority. Sorry, I meant to say it's a priority. It's a group? Oh, no! <laughs> I guess we'll resign. Boom. Okay, armor and shield. Very good. And then we we'll just go for this one. Oh, the swap again. You love to see it. Because it... <laughs> because it put the shield up. It's not working in its favor. I would have been able to kill it lot in the other turn. Okay, swap in, heal, and evasive. Well, that doesn't matter to me because I've got an attack going through your dodge. Yeah, this this whole thing was designed by like, okay, Testa Corminus is the best thing in the world uh, for this tournament. Let's make sure that people have it maxed up. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to do it. Does it have anything to regain? I mean, its, it's speed has been reduced to nothing. <laughs> It doesn't even move. Okay. Okay. Some damage. Now, you won't be able to swap out now, so that's good. Because otherwise, you probably would, and you'd want to give me more health. And at this point, all the creatures are now one hit away from dying. So the, the, there's no difference here. Like, just... just It's going to be a kill for each turn. Don't swap out. Don't don't drag on the inevitable. <laughs> just get it over with, please. There's the model already. Do you think he's going to swap out? Please don't. Uh, I'll go for that one just in case. Oh, thank God. There we go. Are we over halfway? How many battles are there? We should have unlocked the Panthera now, though. Should have. Panthera blisses. <laughs> uh, I may as well go for that because it doesn't even matter what he does. And boom. There you go. GG. GG. And all I did was gain health on my test to Corbin. It's not by much, but enough. And there's 40. So we should have it unlocked now. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Now, how much extra? 48. Oh, that's it. There's only three left. Oh, go on then. We'll, we'll keep on going. Oh, okay. Okay. I like this. Now we're like, yeah, whatever. <gasps> Revenge. I really feel like that. that I mean, they're my strongest creatures. My best chances. I may as well. I like how the music cut out there. The music was like, yeah, no. <laughs> cool. Good one, game. Glad to see you, you, you're uh, you're doing well. Now, the problem... Okay. The problem with this game is that it's too... Maybe it's my devices or something. But anyway, it's it's too, like, processing heavy. So... Oh, my God. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and it bleeds as well. Oh, no. Maybe we can. How much, how much bleed is it, though? Oh, it's a lot. Oh, God. Thank God I, we can cleanse ourselves. Yes, cleanse. I, I probably will be able to kill me, though. Oh, don't do rending, please. Don't do rending. Please don't do rending. Minor rending. No, oh, we lost us to Corbinus. No. Damn it. I'm an idiot. I mean, could I have switched out at all? Uh, precise swap in strike. Oh, I could have. I could have. Okay, okay. Right, we're going to have to switch to our next one, the Mammalania, which has boosts on it. Oh, this 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 doesn't bode very well. He's probably gonna swap out as well. No! We would want to, if we just survived, we would have had so much help. I should have went for dig in. Damn. But I don't know if I would have survived the uh, the, the rendering which he should have went for, not the regular attack. Um, but yes. What was I saying? I didn't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, it's, it's too rendering heavy, so like, I can go outside and you know, the game wants you to... I mean, I can do that. The game wants you to go outside and dart dinosaurs, right? That's what it wants you to do. But because this game's so, like, intense with its graphics and, and everything, I can't really do that because the game just refuses to open unless I'm, like, connected to Wi-Fi. Um, or at least with my, like, where I am at the moment and my sim. Uh, it just doesn't seem to work. And it's, it's so weird because I can open Pokemon Go and it, like, opens in two seconds. And I can play that outside. But this, for some reason, just World Live's like, nah. And I think because it's went so heavy into its battling and its graphics, that's pretty much what Jurassic World Live wants you to do. It just wants you to, to like, 
be hooked up, charging, while connected to a Wi-Fi. It's basically like a PC game <laughs> or a console game. Oh my god, this is not looking good. Uh, maybe I should have thought about this. I think, are we... Do we have to restart? Is that going to be a thing? Like, is it possible to... Um, what if I level up a creature? If I leveled it, would it be like, oh, okay, you got some health. Although I can't do that with Test Corbinus because it's dead. So that would make no difference. So we reduce that speed. You can nullify the shield. That's fine. Um, I mean, I guess we could go for that. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, the distracting will. Ah, didn't see that. Is that 50%? Oh, only 25%. Okay, because I resisted. It should have been 50%. Yes. So some damage, which goes through. I can't heal. I can't heal, though. Nope! I've lost my greatest hits! Um, yeah, Crafty, that's fine. You think he gets dodge for that? No, no dodge. Okay. Does he get anything for swapping out? Swap in, dodge, and nullifying count. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. The bear gets to you. My bear's my last one, I think. Actually, does it even have a dig in? I don't even think the bear has a dig in. Oh, does that do damage? Oh, I thought it was going to do damage. That's a bug. Yeah, I don't even... Oh, I don't even... I don't even get anything. No. Oh, God, he's one away from, like, winning. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Oh. Oh, no. Revenge. Okay. Um, I don't have any priority. Okay, yeah, just do your revenge. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this. I mean, really, the prize is only for Panther, and I don't think it's a hybrid. It's like its own creature. Oh, but the counter heal. That's what we want. Yes. As long as you don't do much damage to me, I'm happy with that. I think I do get priority if it's the blast. Alert Arctic Blast is that priority? It does something different, but no, I don't think it has priority. Okay. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I didn't realize that wasn't going to kill it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, no. Please get a crit. No. Ah, oh, damn it. It's vulnerable, but that makes no difference. I just won this one. That just won it. There you go. Alert Arctic Blast. It sounds like a Pokemon move. <laughs> if you just took out the alert. Arctic Blast. And they're gone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I... Oh, it does say like plus. Maybe I can add extra health to them. Maybe. Okay, that takes us to nine. Right. So if I click on this... Maybe, maybe there's a way to revive your creatures. Like if it costs books or something like that, then it's up to you whether you want to do it. But really, all I'm getting from this is 96 extra DNA for the Panthera. Um, and I don't even know if Panthera is very good. But let's have a look. I mean, we did face up against it, which was cool to see. Um, let's see. I mean, maybe it's a bit like Rexy. Yeah, Re this is the only creature apart from Rexy that's like a legendary and isn't a hybrid, I think. Uh, so... Debilitating Strike, Evasive Hunt, which gives 100% chance to dodge 100% of the damage uh, for one turn. Cunning Rampage, which I guess isn't so bad. Precise Double Strike, so, and it goes through. So that's good against um, Phlox, definitely, that's good. And a, what's this, Swift Wounding Swap In. So you swap it in, it doesn't attack that bypasses dodge, increases its speed, does the damage over time, which is 0.50%, which is an all right amount. For, for two turns, and then you're unable to swap. It's 100% immune to stun, which it needs to be. Reg oh, that's good. Damage reduction and speed reduction it's resistant to. Very good. Ooh. If you had this thing maxed, and you put boosts on it, the precise double strike, like swapping in, going through, reducing speed, and then having a precise double strike, you could kill, like, Compsoraptor. So easy. Wow, okay. So, I mean, this is my team at the moment. I've leveled up Comsoraptor to level 30. I kind of... I, I'm really kind of close to getting this to the next level. Uh, we can do... Oh, we can only do a pop of 5. Oh, okay, I thought maybe... No, oh, maybe we do 10. But, you know, 110? Yeah, that takes us over. So, we've got three pops of this. We just need Gemini Titan DNA, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because uh, the Geminidus... I've got plenty of Stegodus. I can make that for days. So we've got two for six. So we've got three pops of this. I need to get it. Oh, come on. I got two more pops. Well, minimum, we're going to get the 50, but 100 would be really good. If we get like a 60 here or something decent, 
Damn. Damn. Well, we could get a 50. And I'm not holding my breath. But we could get a 50. It's doable. And it's a 20. Okay. Okay. I think um, I, I'm not guaranteed a level up on the Geminidus. Or Geminidus. What's it called? Geminidus. Geminidus. Gemin... I do. Ideas. Gemini. Whatever. That one. <laughs> so, because it's an F apex, I don't think I'm going to get a 10, but it's very unlikely. Fingers crossed we don't get a 10. And what do we get? 30. Yes. I thought so. And there it is to level 29. It's really like, oh, that's what you want. Like, the level 30 takes ages to get to, but an extra 400 help and basically 100 extra attack. Oh, that's really going to help. So. Now my team, a level up comes after to level 30. We've leveled up Geminidus or Geminidus, Geminidus to level 29. I've leveled up the Scorpion ones. We've got the Draco uh, Ankyloceratops thing. We've got that leveled up to level 30. Uh, Turn of Valkyries level 28. The, the, our next level ups are very far away. Um, and I don't think there's anything else I want to level up at the moment. And I think I've done all the incubators that are out here. We've got a few things going on. Uh, not really. <laughs> not much. I think the scorpion's out for today. But that's pretty much going to be as much as I can do of the frost assault. I can't... I mean, I'm all right. It's okay. We'll do one battle and just see, you know, maybe we can see the level 29 genitus. But you know what? I'm probably not... I'm not going to hold my breath because whenever I want something in a battle, it never shows up. And I always get two of the Rexes. Always, without fail. Hey! No, I don't. I don't get you. Sweet. Let's try this. Go on, then. Level 29 in Gyrosphere Station. Now, oh, against Schoon. I think this is going to, like, I'm really good against Schoonosaurus. Look at that, 8,700. I mean, I would be more health on it if I was level 30, but the harder. How much, how much armor? 80% armor? Oh. Uh, there's the counter, which is going to do 300 night, which still does a fair amount for 80% armor. It's still a lot of damage. And that, seven, oh, okay, maybe it's not. And then I should be on 100%, right? Do I get 10% or is it 20%? He said 10%. Oh my God. Right now he really needs to do something. Uh, this is very good. People always tell me to use this one. So you move cloak uh, and speed increases and you attack. Uh, I'm just going to go for this one. Oh, why would you? Why would you? You're going to be doing no damage. At this point, like swap out, man. Swap out. I mean, yeah, you've reduced my attack a little bit, I suppose, but I think I'm... Resistant to it, so I've got 100% armor now. I'm... I think... I reduce your speed? Redu I reduce your own armor! Oh, no! <laughs> yep, definitely quicker now. Although, actually saying that, no, not because he's got his own counter. A thousand damage! This makes no sense! How does his counter go through my armor? I've got... Oh, maybe it did... Mm. Okay, okay. Oh! Right. Interesting. Could have went from a big hit there. Should have. Should have went from a big hit here. Um, why is he getting crits? Uh, we'll go for another Harden here. Uh, now we're down to 30% armor. So, you know what? He, should have, he shouldn't have been able to do 2,300 to me. That shouldn't have happened. Um, I should have killed him. I should be on 5,000 health. That was my own fault. I don't I don't use Geminidus too much or you know, I don't have the opportunity. Uh, basically because I don't play this game too much, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Like, the battle, like, I think everyone has the same feeling and it's just the battles are just annoying. Uh, and just so unfun. Yeah, uh, so we can't swap out because we'll take a big chunk of damage and we'll be pinned in. Uh, so, oh, a Paradops! Freaking Paradops goes through armor if I remember correctly. Yeah, well done, well done. Uh, what's good against Paratops? Like, what can I set up against Paratops? Because he got he can only go for heals. He may just go for his regular. He'll go for his, his normal hit here, I think. I don't think he'll go for his heal. Yeah, I thought he would go for that. That's kind of what I wanted him to do. And then he's pretty much dead. Um, so that was, that was kind of silly for him to do. Uh, but hey-ho. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would. Yeah, okay. So that's Paratops taken care of. 2-1 up. Wait, huh? Did I kill something? Oh, I killed the Scoon. That's right. And then we got this guy who I'm ho I'm expecting him to try and get the stun. That's what he's going to do. He is going to try and get the stun. Otherwise, he's dead. I don't know why. 75% chance is very low. 
Yeah, well, I mean, he tried. He tried to do it. I don't know why. Maybe he just didn't have anything good. And here it comes. And boom! Like that's another level 30 Rexy Wizard. There you go. Well, uh, we, we beat the yellow octopus. And we're getting closer to being back in New Blast Shores. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you goodies later. Oh, bye bye